Welcome to the Maria Liberati Show, where food meets art, travel, and life. This is Maria Liberati, and this is my Happy Memorial Day weekend segment. Stay tuned for a special coffee drink in honor of this month's giveaway of my book, The Basic Art of Coffee. Sweetie Bear, my rescue pup's recipe for a risotto that's perfect for a Memorial Day picnic that you're going to spend with your pup. It's a recipe, it's a risotto that your pup can eat with you. So many of us have rescue pups now. And join me for a little trip around Italy through the spoken word and my recipe for another great dish for a Memorial Day picnic. It's actually a frittata roll up that you can take with you anywhere to your backyard, eat it at home or have a picnic somewhere. And lastly, my favorite and simple Italian dessert, strawberries with lemon. Stay tuned for all this and more. So does this mean summer is finally here? Well, it must be summer because yesterday I was able to get my first baby watermelon and I plan on eating the whole thing myself. I can't think of a more refreshing way to spend a warm summer style day because it's not really summer yet. It's still spring, but it's summer style weather. Besides, it reminds me of my summer spent in the mountains of Abruzzo eating lunch on the terrazzo and reveling in the beautiful Italian sun and peaceful quiet while being cooled down by munching on a juicy slice of sweet watermelon. For those of you that don't want to eat a whole watermelon or would appreciate another type of fresh fruit that has summer written all over it, try my second favorite summertime dessert, fresh strawberries with lemon, known in Italian as fragole con limone. It calls for one pound of fresh strawberries, one fresh lemon, one quarter cup of sugar, or a healthy sugar substitute like stevia or monk fruit, agave syrup, and a handful of fresh mint leaves. Wash and quarter the strawberries and hull them also. Place them in a bowl, squeeze the juice of one lemon on top, sprinkle with sugar or a healthy sugar substitute, and toss gently. Let this marinate in the refrigerator for about two hours. Serve chilled, garnished with fresh mint leaves. You could serve Serve it with a side of vanilla gelato or ice cream or a dairy-free frozen dessert. Vanilla flavored. Oh, so good. Nothing says summer more than strawberries with lemon. And it doesn't require an oven or range to cook. And that reminds me of one of my favorite quotes said by Albert Einstein. A table, a chair, a bowl of fruit, and a violin. What else does a man need to be happy? Well, picnics and Memorial Day are just around the corner, so it's time for a cool coffee drink from my book, The Basic Art of Coffee, and also to remind you to like and share this week's episode, and you'll be entered in a drawing for a copy of my book, The Basic Art of Coffee, with many different coffee stories and coffee recipes. Now, this is a cool coffee drink two cups of strong espresso coffee, four teaspoons of sugar or a healthy sugar substitute like stevia or monk fruit, two cups of chopped ice, a teaspoon of anisette or amaretto liqueur, or a non-alcoholic flavoring that you like, a half a cup of milk or a dairy-free milk like almond milk. That's actually my favorite for this type of drink, but you can also use oat milk or any other dairy-free beverage. Blend all the ingredients in a shaker and divide into two tall chilled glasses. You can also blend this in an electric blender. So for more coffee recipes and stories, get your copy of The Basic Art of Coffee or like and share this week's episode. And also you can create that recipe yourself. Take a picture, share it with us, hashtag it the Maria Liberati show, and you'll be entered in a drawing for the basic art of coffee. The more times you like and share, the more times you are entered, or you can also share it with somebody that will enjoy 
that you think would enjoy a copy of the book and or this um, episode or the recipe. Again, that's the basic art of coffee. And you can find that on my website, murrieliberati.com or artoflivingprimamedia.com or anywhere books are sold online. So my precious rescue pup and I will also be spending Memorial Day together. And I did a post on my blog back in 2016. Wow, time sure does fly when it was our first Memorial Day together. Sweetie Bear, and that name came from my six, my niece who was six years old at the time, Sophia, who said that the pup looks like a tiny little black bear. And, and she did. She's a little bit of a pudgier black bear now, but she's a welcome guest to our family picnics every year. And of course, she deserves something special cooked for her so she can enjoy our family Memorial Day picnic. So here's a recipe I created for Sweetie Bear. It's a special risotto that can be served chilled if you need to place it in a container to take with you on a picnic. So for my pup, I give her one tablespoon of this dish with um, a small handful of her dry food. And this is Sweetie Bear's risotto with chicken. A quarter pound of cooked chopped chicken meat. Boil the meat and then chop it into small pieces. I do use organic chicken. One fresh zucchini cut into small pieces. Boil till soft. One half a cup of rice cooked till tender. Cut the chicken meat into small pieces. Drain the zucchini. And in a small bowl, mix chicken with cooked rice and zucchini. Be sure that the zucchini is cut into small pieces. Let that cool and serve that. This makes more than one serving depending on the size and age of your dog or if you have some playmates over. I know Sweetie Bear will probably be having some of her best friends over so we should have enough for two or three dogs. And that recipe is from my blog at marialiberati.com. And for more recipes, get your copy of the Basic Art of Italian Cooking book series that includes the Gourmand World award-winning book, The Basic Art of Italian Cooking, Holidays and Special Occasions. The first book was The Basic Art of Italian Cooking and The Basic Art of Italian Cooking, Da Vinci Style. It's all about Da Vinci's life as a foodie because he was a foodie and the special places in Italy that he lived in and recipes that are traditional to those places. And there's also a smaller book series called The Basic Art Of, and that is The Basic Art of Coffee, which is our giveaway for the month. The Basic Art of Cocktails, The Basic Art of Pasta, The Basic Art of Pizza, The Basic Art of Creating a Tuscan Wedding, and the basic art of experiencing Venice. You can find all those books on marialiberati.com, artoflivingprimamedia.com, that's the name of the publisher, and anywhere books are sold online. And don't forget to like and share this week's episode to be entered into a drawing for the basic art of coffee. And send us your recipe if you create that recipe that I just gave, the coffee drink, the cool coffee drink, you know, take a picture at your Memorial Day picnic, share it with us. We all want to see what your picnic look like. It could be just home in your backyard. Hey, that's fine. You're having a staycation or wherever you are. Take a picture, hashtag at the Maria Liberati show and share it with us. We will be putting these pictures on my website also. And now I wanted to share a written trip, kind of a staycation written trip to Italy since most of us have not really been able to travel the way that we're used to. And it's always fun to take an armchair trip or staycation to anywhere really in the world. And this, this one is to Italy. You know, even though the country of Italy is about the size of the state of Arizona, it's home to more than 60 million people divided into 20 different regions. Each region has its own characteristics and qualities that set it apart from the others. Each region has their own capital city, coat of arms, provinces, and autonomy. Certain types of food are commonly associated with certain regions, 
often depending on factors such as the geographical location, the fertility of the soil, the history of the location, and more. That's why when people say a recipe is Italian, it's really not Italian. It's really from a specific region in Italy. So let's go to the first region, Lazio. That's the region in which the great city of Rome lies. Yes, that's one of my favorite cities in the world. It's the largest region in Italy, and it's home to one-tenth of the overall population of Italy. The cuisine of Lazio is similar to that of Abruzzo and Umbria, which are two other regions. This is where the most iconic and widely recognized Italian food comes from. It's the central part of Italy, which is famous for its cheeses, olive oils, and tomato sauce. The region of Tuscany is probably the most well-known as it is home to Florence, the world-famous birthplace of artists such as da Vinci, Botticelli, Michelangelo, Galileo, Galilei, to name a few. Tuscany is most famous for its wines like Chianti. This region is also known for white truffles, a delicacy in Italian and European cuisine. Piedmont, or Piemonte, as they say in Italian, is in the northern part of Italy, the former host of the 2006 Winter Olympics. Torn, the city of Torn, is here as well. It's located near the Alps. Northern Italy is known for its game meats. Now, I'm not really big on meats for most of you that know me, but butter is usually preferred here over olive oil too. The town of Arborio is in this region as well, which is where the rice that's used for risotto originates from. And if you make risotto with um, Arborio rice, you're getting a great risotto. Of course, you can also use carnaroli. A fun fact is that Italians do not put meatballs on spaghetti. An average Italian meal is divided into courses, il primo piatto, and and secondo piatto. So the primo includes usually a carbohydrate dish like pasta and risotto. The secondo or the second course usually includes a protein. So that could be a meat, a fish, or a protein substitute. And then of course you have different side dishes and desserts and salads. Milan and Venice are in two provinces that are located in the northern part of Italy as well. Campania and Sicily are regions in southern Italy near the Mediterranean Sea. Naples is the capital city of Campania and Sicily is the island on the far side of the country. It's the largest island in the Mediterranean. Now, it's said that pizza originated from southern Italy because of the history of the spices that became popular here before anywhere else in Europe centuries ago. The cuisine in Sicily is viewed as healthy compared to other regional cuisines because it uses many fresh fruits and vegetables coupled with the fresh seafood caught on the coast. The most well-known part of the Sicilian cuisine, however, is sweet dishes like cannoli and gelati, the plural word for gelato, and that, as many of you know, is the Italian version of ice cream. It's so amazing and exciting that there are so many different variations of cuisine in such a small geographical area. Each region of Italy has its own signature on the broad spectrum of Italian cuisine. And here's the recipe I promised for any Memorial Day picnic or any picnic. This even makes a great take-along lunch. You know, if you have to make lunch for someone going to school or going to the office. I know not everyone is working from an outside office yet, but, you know, it makes a great take-along lunch. This is an egg frittata roll-up. Six eggs, two tablespoons of grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, a half a cup of milk, pinch of salt and pepper, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, one quarter pound of thinly sliced Fontina cheese, one sliced leek, one tablespoon of chopped parsley, one quarter cup of flour, 
Mix the flower, rosemary, thyme, and black pepper together. So let's see, the rosemary, you should have a pinch of rosemary, a pinch of thyme, and a pinch of salt and pepper. Mix that all together. Break the eggs into a bowl. Add in the grated cheese, milk, and a pinch of salt and freshly ground pepper. Beat this with a fork, then blend in the flour mixture and whisk with a wire whisk. Heat the oil in a pan and pour. When the oil is warm, too hot, not bubbling, add in the egg mixture. Cook on one side, then flip over and cook on the other. When the frittata is firm, place it on a large piece of aluminum foil. Top with the fontina cheese or any cheese really. I just like fontina cheese. You want to do that when it's still warm because the fontina cheese will melt. Roll up the aluminum foil and keep this rolled until, remember you have to do this when the egg, when the uh, frittata the egg frittata is so hot so roll this up and keep it rolled until cooled when it's cool remove the aluminum foil and cut the roll into slices place the slices on individual plates and decorate with leeks and parsley and serve or if you'd like to take along you can wrap them up into parchment paper these make easy take-alongs they're great for snacks or great for a quick on-the-run lunch there you have it my happy memorial day recipe collection for you and you have plenty of recipes to start off your memorial day picnic of course you may want to do some kind of a barbecue or or serve some other foods but you have some great appetizers you know the egg frittata roll-ups can be really great as an appetizer they can make a quick lunch if you don't feel like cooking a whole lot you can have the egg frittata roll-ups as a quick lunch appetizer you have the strawberries with lemon that can also be a refreshing appetizer or a dessert and let's say you have the cool coffee drink and you even have a course for your pup the uh, sweetie bears risotto with chicken make sure you bring your pup along make sure you give them water and they'll have their own special dish as well and i want to thank my production intern alexandra troy my producer Britton roselle for this episode and remind everyone to like and share this episode to be entered in a giveaway for the basic art of coffee book and also the giveaway this month is a delicious crumb cake from the clarkson avenue new crumb cake company so like and share the episodes you can also share a picture if you create the coffee drink that from the recipe that I gave earlier in the episode take a picture share it on social media hashtag at the Maria Liberati show and again you'll be entered into the drawing for the book the basic art of coffee we will be compiling photos on my website shortly of the recipes that you've sent in and hashtag the Marie Liberati show. The more times you like and share, the more chances you have for the giveaway. So that's a giveaway for a Clarkson Avenue crumb cake from the Clarkson Avenue crumb cake company. And they are just luscious. And my book, The Basic Art of Coffee. And uh, stay tuned because next week, wow, is the month of June already. And we will be announcing some special giveaways we will have for Father's Day and, and the month of June. So stay tuned. We'll have some delicious giveaways for the month of June also. This is Maria Liberati. You can find me at marialiberati.com, artoflivingprimamedia.com, on Twitter at Maria Liberati with a capital M for Maria, on Facebook at Chef Maria Liberati, on LinkedIn at M Liberati, on Instagram at Maria Liberati. Liberati on my Roku channel. It's the basic art of Italian cooking by Maria Liberati. And soon you'll find me on the basic art of radio station. More to come about that. And of course, my podcast, the Maria Liberati show. Until next week, peace, love, and pasta.